nature. Everybody yeah, that's real, that look, look, I went to the game on the day, right? They had uh-huh. me up there, me versus Nikki boyfriend. Nikki oh, just man. had a fucking baby. I just had a fucking baby. Who responsible need, for this even post? Want to, I don't but listen though, like, about that who here, responsible? Man. Listen, who responsible for these type posts in my neighborhood when people fight, people get hit the fuck up, killed. Funerals happen. Who responsible for this post decided to put this up and put 10 black figures against each other on just to get some attention to a fucking blog page? And guess what? We need, we, we need to be accountable, accountable for giving them up. Hey, we Pastor, need to be hold on. Let me, them up. Hold hold on. On. Let me, let me point up. Hold on. And I, I, I ain't listen. I ain't even reply to that. But who are we holding accountable for that as a community? So are you. you saying are you saying that you wish that they would just stop saying so much negative shit about you on these platforms? I think all that, everything that... No, I'm asking me. No, but that's... I'm asking me. I don't even think it's about negative shit. It's about... It's about... violence, bro. That's going... That's going to come with the territory. That's just... Yeah, I was... Y'all saying the wrong thing, though. I don't want y'all to overspeak me. I still I know blogs are going to report on me. I know this. They're going to say what the fuck they want. But when... If me and 21 is having an argument... And this shit can get serious. And a person from Shade Room might be from Atlanta or Philadelphia too. They have a responsibility to the culture, the way they handle me and 21 about to fucking throw our lives away. Come on, y'all. Y'all, y'all know this. Why but the how fuck are they put me though? up there? Why is they putting me up there with Nikki's boyfriend? Man, nah, nigga, hold on. We time had out. an argument. Time Listen, though. We had me. an argument. That me. was a fucking year ago. That lady just had a baby. Listen, though. No, no. Let me finish this. She just had a baby. I just had a baby. Who we holding accountable for these type posts? We shouldn't even follow look, it. Look, nah, this is who we hold accountable. If you and 21 had a situation, you and 21 hold accountable. It right. ain't no blogs that's hold accountable. That's right. not their job. Their job is to Me play and that at the guy bottom don't got no bottom. situation, though. No but that, but that, it, ain't, it ain't like, it ain't like. That. If it we ain't wanted like to do something to each other, right. that would have happened already. And I like they posted Why is this blog piece, posting bro? me and this man on a page when I just gave out fucking a hundred thousand dollars worth of toys? Why is they pushing this narrative on our black people? Because mo- mostly what I'm hearing you say is that you don't understand how you're doing so much good and all they're doing is focusing on No, the I'm saying who we the hold public responsible. Don't care no, about the I'm nice asking shit, y'all the Bro, question. they not even hold, it ain't even about holding nobody. It's like, bro, they making up a fight. That's some lame ass shit. Click it ain't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. This ain't no man that, I ain't scared of like, this is a year ago. She just had a baby. I just had a baby. Why the fuck do y'all got two people versus say if we see each other, hit each other the fuck up. Who are we holding accountable yeah, I, in our I culture? I can see that part. Yeah, come on, they man. Didn't, they, they didn't post Jeezy and Gucci. They didn't post Jeezy and Gucci. So can Jeezy I say something? So my name's Lauren. I work for TMZ, right? And I go through this a lot with me being one of the only black faces that y'all see on the platform. I have a lot of fights on the inside about a lot of different things. And a lot of it, and I hear you meet, right? Like I hear you about the responsibility and the culture and people, especially when it comes from about black outlet. And I've heard Angie on this platform speak about certain things when it comes to her outlet and kind of defending why they post certain stuff and why they don't post others or why they post both the good and the bad. Right. But what I really, I really but want people to understand is that exposing who the person that's responsible for making oh, the But even if you do, even if you, this is, this is my point, right? Even if you do that, even if you do that, literally down to the name where they, whatever it is, however you want to expose them, it's still going to happen because they're not there with you. They're not, they, they're they not getting into these situations. Their lives are different. They're a lot, they're a lot more disconnected. You seem very still connected to a lot of things no, that are happening, I think, but I everybody think that's in the position is not like that. A little bit from that conversation we had. He's still talking shit about me, but I seen him donate to the girl in Chicago. It yeah, wasn't about may, me. But- I mean, it wasn't about you, but at the end of the day, like, I personally sat on that stage with you, and I talked to that man for over 10 minutes at a time about his effect in my city, and when I had a private conversation with um, Barbie about what he said, he said he felt bad, and it's a lot of, and I ain't even really here to defend him, but he took accountability properly yeah, on the that private platform. That's, that's, but, that's credible. That counts. But I, yeah, all right, that's, yeah, that's it. I ain't gonna lie, they just do lame shit on them blogs, bro. Like, yeah, like, so like, they, 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 po- they post some to, goddamn. He felt bad. Y'all made, go ahead, my fault. He, he felt bad, bed. but if something is a big enough story, do that's you guys true. feel go like ahead. it won't be posted on his platform? Because just, just being 100% honest when it comes to business, and this is not me throwing any journalist under the boat, because I understand at the end of the day, if you work for a certain platform, there's certain things they're going to cover. 
and he's in charge of his platform. So he has a lot more say so than I fucking do. But at the end of the day, if something is a story and he's reporting on it as a blog, he can feel bad and he can kind of control how he reports on it. But do you think he's still going to report on it? Yes, I think he's going to change the way slightly the way he report on it. Because he has changed that, that shit. Yeah, he yeah, has. I've been following, following his tweet. Go ahead. I ain't gonna cut that. Nigga, that nigga what did you need to realize is right. Even in I was in that room when y'all had that conversation. It got to a point where I was just like, okay, at this point it's a bunch of screaming, so I gotta go. But some point of that conversation got to him, right? And what I think people need to really understand is what we decide to put our focus on and what we decide to make cool, right? Because at one point in time, people loved the shit out of him and his platform and would do anything to be on it. So he could do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. It's a different time now where leverage is completely different. If you are part of the problem and enough people speak out on it, you have to have some sort of accountability now. So just me as a person in the media and a person just as a person, right? I challenge everybody here with some platform, with some say-so, to challenge people, but there's a way that you can go about it where even when you're challenging him, the negative doesn't become the narrative because negative is what's going to drive look, clicks. Look, hold up, pause Period. that. No, you know let my up, baby no. mom, right? You know my baby mom, right? Yeah. She has been doing well for herself for years. The moment a dirty ass rapper says something about my baby mom, she's a black queen that's winning. Shade Room posted that shit to try to destroy her. Somebody got to be held accountable for that. I don't give a fuck how much money y'all making off that shit. We got to be held accountable for when y'all say, yo, Meek, you getting old. Y'all calling, y'all using bitch too much. Yo, Meek, you doing this too much. I will have to be held accountable one day for everything. If y'all can bring that to me, I will have to step. I will say, yo, listen. I have to keep some of these young people here to a certain level to remain cool, to be able to deliver anything positive to them. I always tell my billion. They don't approve of nothing that I talk about. No killing murder, but I always have a, I'm, 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 I'm held accountable for things to them. I say, I have a, I come from a certain environment. I've been around this environment 30 years of my life. 33 years of my life, when I go in the studio to think about a rap, I think about the things that I've seen in my neighborhood and I came about. So if you hold me accountable and ask me why do I do these things, I would be like, yo, I keep enough cool and I keep enough smartness to be able to hold the young guy's ear and enough to be effective to them so they can believe me at the same time because they know where I come from. Right. And all I'm saying is because you're able, do you understand that that's a gift, right? And do you understand that that puts you in a certain light and on a certain platform that a lot of people will never see? Do you understand that? And if you understand that, all I'm saying to you is in that light and on that platform, the things that now you you can you have the power to make some, certain shit cool. And you you brought up you brought up my sis, right? And yeah, I don't but, even like, like to talk about her because you know, you know, you know, that you, know that people, room, you call and be like, yo, take that shit down. Yo, that girl doing I good. have no power as I have no power. But if you room, know, not if not do you had a power, if you know that person personally that's putting up that post, would you call the for the person you called your sister and be like, yo, take that shit down. Yo, she doing good. Do you do that? You know why? You listen, listen, you know and that's that's because I'm like that. That's why I'm here today. I'm one of those rooms. Because you know why I don't personally go out of my way about certain shit is because when I talk that personally to her, the person that we, me and you have in common, one of the things that she that she has instilled in me and I had to learn as a person that's growing in my own world and, and figuring out leverage and platform and power and all that other shit was what you give your mind to and your attention to, you now put the attention on that to make it become cool. Because people react to that shit, they keep posting it and they're going to keep posting it. But she doesn't react to it. And what I'm saying to you is if you could take that same power and make so certain shit cool that you can change the narrative. We got Trey, Trey in here, right? I, I don't even know Trey. I've never met him in person. I've only met him online. I love the shit out of him though, because he's a, he's a 14 year old boy doing shit that at 14 years old, I couldn't even understand to do like period. If more people focused on shit, like what he's doing, we, we really make shit cool. And I don't think but people we like are you. focused on Trey. Hey, Ash, hold on. Ash, yeah, but not, every, but not room. everybody. I'm Dang not everybody. Right. Like, 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 don't y'all know that y'all say little boys and I, and I know what they be on. I ain't giving no young boys no money to buy no weed. I got two fucking kids in the house. I don't play that shit. Hey, cuz. We came up pumping oh gas God. at the gas station, mother carrying old ladies bags, shoveling snow. Not caring, I, I pull up on them young boys and get them game. I ain't here to give out no fucking money. Right. I'm a G from the trenches. So when I see people from our neighborhood that where we come from entertaining that type stuff on the internet, I lose connection. So when y'all see people get up and move to LA, 
and don't help nobody and never come back, they're the ones that never get criticized. That's actually the best decision to keep your fucking sanity dealing with people from poverty because they're going to blame you for everything. What do y'all want somebody to do? And I ain't talking about the people on the stage. I'm talking about when it's a big viral moment and it's a lot of people talking and people posting and talk. Like, people don't have the common sense to say, yo, damn, he did stop and pull up. Niggas riding right past them little niggas. Right. Yeah, y'all, they riding you, right I'm by him. Right. And look, they wasn't even mad when we gave them the $20. The internet made them mad. If you look at the video, young boy said, thanks, bro. I fuck with you. The internet made them mad like they like we did. So I pull up on them every day. I ride up on these right. young boys every day, but they created the narrative. And then it left people in my hood that when I'm doing a charity drive and bringing back 100000 I'm watching my half of my neighborhood talking about me. That shit getting unmotivated. You start wanting to switch that shit to a different place. You know what I'm saying? It gets, right. like, it's getting too crazy now. Because... I feel like at this point where you at right now, bro, like you you already know motherfuckers is weird. Motherfuckers gonna have this this stigma where they're like I seen I seen somebody say like it's like you already is you big as shit. Like now it's people just waiting for your downfall. It's like fuck what everybody got say. So you already know how you carry it. No, you but it ain't know fuck what, what everybody city. say though, because if it's fuck what everybody say, like like rock. Like when I'm talking about niggas going to war, I ain't talking about that nigga that spoke up. I got niggas that's my little cousins going to war with my other little cousins. I can't even sign one group because if I sign one group, I'm going against another group of niggas. Like, I can't even off. I'm trying to slow down niggas killing each other at a massive rate. Who the fuck is them niggas? You think I ain't got homies that died in the streets? I got more. I probably got more homies than all these niggas that's acting like they beefing that died in the streets. But you think I got to be emotional and throw the rest of my life away and my kids? I still gotta make a move and pave a way for my family. I ain't going, you ain't gonna call me no fucking demon, no crash out dummy nigga. I'm a big boss millionaire. What I supposed to just let the young boys say fucking and let y'all crash out? If I see somebody about to do something and I see you about to make the wrong move, P and B, I'm saying something, even if you don't fuck with me like that. That's just me. No, That's as you should. As you should. The, the shit that you spoke on in the city, the only thing about that shit, I ain't even gonna catch. Like, I, Cause some of them niggas was like, I got a little situation with some of them niggas. You feel me? I ain't even. It ain't got. You don't have to, to explain nothing. your exact. But it's like, but it's like, no, no kizzy. But it's like, niggas don't look at shit like how we look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like we All on right, a bigger well, scale. Fuck you then. But like, look, you gotta have the power to be able to do that because if you gonna do that, you gotta have, you gotta be built like that. If you ain't PNB Rock, ain't saying you ain't get that. I might have posted some niggas you got smoked with or your homies got smoked with. You know I ain't directing that shit to you. And you ain't I ain't picking no side of no P and B. I ain't from P and B. No, I you call me and you, you talking no about the shit. Nigga, I'm but a at jink. the end of the day, you gotta understand when them young boys out there, them niggas is different in Philly. They don't want to they like they think different. Like it's like yeah, they don't think my, about the uh, money. My young boys worse. They don't think about the money though. <laughs> Everybody that's on this chat at the top of this chat, y'all know my young boys worse. The ones I'm staring in a better direction, they even worse. The ones that's doing the most shit, they didn't even say nothing. The nigga that ain't even doing the most shit, the nigga that just got his watch took, spoke up and spotted. Everybody should have stood up. Yo, bro, why you keep trying to push this shit on? You just got your, even if you felt something different, y'all don't want nobody to win. If everybody, what niggas going to bang it out until they die and everybody die going to die, bro? That's what they want to do. That's what I'm telling yeah, you. That's, that's what that's... everybody want to do. Some of them niggas DM me on the personal. And yo, I'm fucked up out here. I don't want to die <laughs> out here because you can help me. Everybody don't want to do that, though. They just not saying it in public. Sometimes you got to let niggas just crash, though, bro. Yeah. Some niggas don't want help, bro. Uh, uh, yo, I think I... What? Yeah, then they're gonna say I ain't helping nobody. What the fuck is like the conversation about, y'all? You, you don't. It's like you in a lose lose though. You hey, Karen, man, can somebody from out of town it's please like, speak oh, up to what they saying? Let it's everybody it's crash. It's Why y'all think Nipsey is Nipsey? Nipsey died for his whole neighborhood, bro. Y'all saying you should have just left his neighborhood and just let that shit crash out? No, I'm saying if you try to help them and they and they dubbing it, like it's nothing else you could do about this shit. You me, know? me, you, you, to me, it's 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 like you you have to kind of. You know, I, I understand your frustration because you do do a lot for the community. You do a lot for not even just your community, people outside of it. You give opportunities. It comes to a point that so many people want your attention and want you to co-sign them or to help them. You can't help everybody. No, it's I'm not talking, you, no, you, no, we have but a I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying like, community, I'm, that includes the artists too. It's just like the space and everything that you're in. 
granted, you're still an artist. You're still developing your career and doing certain things. You have no. I'm not no. still relevant. My career. no. I'm just I'm saying. Boss, like, listen, Darren, you, I don't even got a rap no more. No, I'm listen, listen. But I'm just saying. Look, listen though. Mm -hmm. If I know it's a group, a city full of people, and I fuck with some of them people, I'm uplifting them people. I ain't listening to no people talking about let nobody crash. Y'all tripping. I done but, already. But everybody, 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 everybody don't, don't want to be though. uplifted. Look, listen though. No, I already yeah, that's what you're Listen, I already help 100 people get rich. If a nigga go by, if, 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 if G1 or, or if they say, a dope boy, anybody DM me personally and they say, yo, bro, can you post this song? And I look at that shit and like that shit, I ain't just going to say fuck that shit. That's a sucker. I'm going to actually try to support the next black man. I actually like his music and they ain't going to post it. I'm just going to say fuck it, let him crash. Oh, no, really. it's not let him crash. I already know what WAP talking about. He's saying that like, like the niggas that's on some weird shit, the niggas that's not going to. It's like, you know, niggas, it's some niggas that's just not trying to hear what, what we got Yeah, to like say. once you reach There's out, some yeah, niggas that's not. Yo, that's that. what I'm I saying. I ain't really. I ain't speaking on that. Once you go crazy, you go crazy. Listen no, what I'm saying is once you try to help them and they like, they not like, oh, bro, like they not on it. It's nothing else you could do but at that, that point. that situation wasn't about one person. I wasn't speaking on one beef. I like, Come on, bro. A lot of these niggas is my family and people I really grew up with that I really know, bro. These are my cousins and my second generation. And we talking about SP. Yeah, other shit going on, bro. We ain't just speaking on. I don't give a fuck about no certain people. In our hood, we got 400 murders, 500 murders a year. That means it's 500 killers. Y'all telling me I don't know none of these 500 people and I can't make nothing happy? I'm slowing it down for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? I'm making it nothing not happen for a reason. I'm trying to help out. I'm trying to see some niggas grow. Lights just put up. If he was on, he would want to see some niggas grow. Y'all don't want to see niggas grow, or do y'all want to see people grow? Let's get that clear now so I can know that to finish this discussion. I ain't you gonna lie. I want to see boys. everybody in the city get big. I want to see everybody in the city flourish, but not none of my ops. Fuck no. I want, I want them niggas to die. I don't want none of my ops to flourish. See, like, no, yeah, like, yeah, like, hey, hey, Rock, though, it's a lot of people listening. You can't really go deep as Philly. Like, everybody ain't crazy as our hood. Like, when you say, I know, but niggas, that's what we speak about. You got a right brand, now, though. though. You got a brand and, nigga, and people that's listening that really cut checks and they trying to understand why we think the way we think. Just don't do nothing. Don't say the wrong thing that could hurt your brand. But you know, do you how you do it? Get it how you live. I don't want to tell you what to do, how to do it. I'm just. I just know it's certain people in here listening to the police in this motherfucking listening, if you ask me. Oh, uh, you right. I'm going to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Studio, you posted them 15 times. You showed them love. You brought them out on the stage and Larry Night Nights. So y'all had a real relationship. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all had a real genuine relationship. That's probably the only young boy that you fuck with to the maximum capacity in Philadelphia. Facts. All right? Pound side, get whatever, whatever in the in the, in, the, in the casino such 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 months ago. You get the fights, watch come off his wrist, niggas pick it up, take it. He the hottest young boy in off. We all know that. So the young boys cloud chase him. Of course, this is this is what they gonna do. But at the end of the day, what you doing is you provoking it because you're well, how he feel is damn meek my man. I fuck with me. But well, why meek liking this bull picture and why me following this boy? Why meek is in this. And but why the fuck? Guy. Well, well, that means he is out of zone. He's way out of zone because Meek is a big dog, and I like but all types of. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you this though. Listen though. Listen. See, look. Just, just stop just for a second because time, look, this is where Philly get embarrassing. That we talking about me liking somebody pictures and me actually taking my time, my heart coming back down to the ghetto trying to pull somebody up. I like the same pictures that Leaf War got beef with niggas. All types of niggas got beef. Do you think they weren't about what pictures up? Listen, though, no, hold up before you speak. Stop, stop where you go. Listen, saying. though, everybody in Philly got beef with each other. I don't give a fuck who pictures I like. That don't have nothing to do with me. You might got to get in your zone a little bit and just be like, yo, damn, I am tripping a little bit. Because, look, the niggas that y'all talking about, if you pull that nigga up there, I pull him up right now. I told him, I said, nigga. I wasn't never, I, I wasn't going to never sign y'all niggas because y'all beefing with some niggas from my hood. He said, I know that, cuz. 
And if you pull that boy up here for 30 seconds, he going to tell you that's exactly what I, I said. So look, at the, listen, the moral of the story I, is, listen, though, the moral of the story is, is look, this is why look, I didn't bro, look, 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 bro, look, let me tell you. I, I, I the moral of the story is y'all have to man up and say, yo, we made a little poor decision right we there. Not, like, we didn't make no poor decision in my eyes, bro, because we good. You know who we is. You know what's going on with us. Me, come on, bro. I don't know you what is going on. Out. No, 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 you act like you don't know what you No, listen, bro. We can get off of this hey, bro, right hey, now. Hey, bro, right? y'all don't do that shit in front of 5,000 people. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, bro. Let me stop. Because I let you talk. Who is this talking? This is Omar Teagle Jr. Your dad is a rat. You a pussy. You love, You come from Delaware. Bro, bro, bro this Why shit bullshit, bro. Can, can we get like back? Man, can we get back to niggas, like niggas bridging a gap the, between no, niggas that don't got no money and niggas that made it? He grew up in the suburbs. Hey, hey, me, 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 you got a bunch of niggas. Hey, me, hey, me, hey, me, you got a bunch of niggas in here, bro, that's from your city that's trying to get to where you're going, bro. This is a meat room. This is a meat room. Y'all got to take them off the stage when they do that. Y'all got to take them off the stage when they do that, though. It's no zero tolerance. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Can I can I say I something, please, so I so, so I can get my shit off for a nigga that's an up and coming rapper from Philly? Hey, me, you not you not wrong for saying that you gave niggas shit because all the niggas you gave verses to, if they shit would have hit ten million sales, niggas would have been saying you a real nigga. But like Kobe was saying, you gotta look at it. Every nigga don't got a view into the industry to see how shit work. They just looking at surface level. So you gotta understand, a lot of niggas don't know no better, bro. They don't. No, but when we right here talking, and I just expressed to you that I came off my house to, to pull somebody up. This conversation ain't about no like, and this is this just from hood. This is for the streets. I ain't gonna this lie. Ain't even me. about no record deal, y'all. No, this me, is about me, like me, like me, 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 me. You my nigga. You know I love you to death, bro. But we can't be doing the street shit on clubhouse, me. Unbelievable. Big fat. That shit ain't gonna be a nigga. No, it's a big homie. 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 You have a little boy from the suburbs on here telling Meek Mill, I know who he is. I don't know who he is. And everybody in this room know that's he's not true. Take him off the stage, y'all. That's all. He gone. Know, that's he, gone. Cool. he gone. He gone. He gone. But it'd be that easy. Don't, we, we, don't we can't, like, we, listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. We, we, can't, we, we, we can't be going back to the streets and on here. And in the same token, bro, like, a nigga ain't expecting no fucking the CEO of Warner records to get in a beef bro at the same time too like nigga can't be doing that neither bro like every nigga you meet in this industry ain't finna be beefing with all your ops bro that ain't the way this shit work so it's like niggas can't be tying the street shit with the music niggas gotta separate this shit somewhere bro everybody gonna go down